It was back in 2014. I was wow. um, on my senior year in Ateneo. So that was the time that, that was the last time they, they lost actually to, to La Salle. So it has been 3,014 days <laughs> since, wow. without losing, without itong losing, NU yeah. Lady Bull, Bulldogs uh, 2014. Nga. Are they truly unbeatable, Danica? <laughs> well, at the rate they're going, they're very yes. much unbeatable. But if you put it to perspective, you know, basketball, the saying is bilogang bola. Correct. It could be anyone's ball game. But at the rate the NU Lady Bulldogs are going, they just don't want to stop their winning tradition. They want to go all the way. And with that, uh, they also want to make world history. Correct. They are now um, set. Uh, they're now dead set on the 112 straight wins because that's the world record wow. okay. for women's basketball where UConn has the most number of wins, which is 112. So, pag natalo nila yon, sila na yung oh may goodness. record in the world wow. for most wow. number of wins. That's a crazy I mean, feat. If they without do that. losing at all. But so far, they are the exception to the rule. Na bilog ang bola. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Sabi nga, three certain things, diba? Crazy. But uh, before we go to the game na nangyari kanina, let's backtrack a little bit yung game nila against USD, which you covered, I believe, diba? Yes. It was the closest that a team got to That's against true. NU, which yep. was last weekend. Can you tell us more about that game? Well, it was really a... Uh, well fought game actually for both teams, NU and UST. They were actually the teams that went up against each other back in 2019. Mm -hmm. So it was a finals matchup, which was really exciting to cover mm -hmm. because all of the players really contributed and delivered. And the level of competitiveness, the quality of basketball when we were covering. Yung partner ko si Jaime, kulo na lang, nakatayo na kami. Grabe, this game is so intense. At 8 in the morning, yeah. if you could just imagine Goodness. the intensity and the energy of the players. We were so pumped at 8 in the morning on a Sunday morning. I mean, you were there and I wanted to ask if was there pressure in the air for them to close out that match? Uh, tight match, 78-75. And nakita mo ba from the coaches, from the athletes themselves, from how they were playing, was there some kind of pressure that you can see coming from them to so, get game. that 100th win? Well, they've been used to uh, um, getting big leads mm -hmm. for, for their opponents as early as the first quarter or the first half. Yeah. So this kind of rocked the boat a bit during the halftime. You could see the coaches of NU up on their feet, really trying to make adjustments just so they could stop the momentum of the USC Lady Tigresses. So talagang even the, the players were shocked yeah. because they're not used to a situation like that where in a Correct. team was up against NU, na mm. super dikit yung laban. So I think it really parang showed their character yeah. that they still had that killer instinct, that champion's mentality na hindi kami papatalo. We're not gonna settle for just an ordinary win, but a win is still a win. They, they got it and now they're on their 100 win. Right, and from that game yung against USD na sobrang dikit, three points nga lang, all of a sudden they bounce, well, bounce back pa to, right. no? sa, yeah. sa point na to kasi may dumikit sa kanila. But today, tinamba kanila yung UP uh, Fighting Maroons by 35 points, if my math is correct. 79-44. Yeah, yes. <laughs> lang yan. So, can you tell us more about that game? And can you tell us what makes this NU team so dominant, I guess? I guess it's because of the winning culture that mm -hmm. um, Coach Pat Aquino started. Right. The program from recruiting to the support of the management. They're really a tight-knit team. It's really a collective effort. It's not just the players, not just the coaches. But you really have to give... Um, the recognition to these people behind the, yeah. the team who are supporting them all the way. So, if you could look at the stats kanina, everyone contributed eh. Parang okay. the, the scores were equally distributed except for the super senior, Mika Kacho, who mm. led the team with 15 points. Right. But it was really a way for the players to bounce back. Bounce yes. back na nga. <laughs> so hard. Kasi <laughs> they wanted to show that their defense is their identity. Mm. It's their DNA na talagang pag dumipensa yung end, yung kakabahan ka or mararattle ka na when you're on the court. And it's something that showed as yeah. early as the first quarter. I think the score right. was 31 to 6. Oh so they goodness. limited the UP fighting Maroons to only 6 points during the first quarter, which is, which says a lot oh, for that grabe, team, right? Oh, grabe. Grabe yung ginawa nila. Kanina. Grabe naman talaga. I mean, let's 
Uh, it's cool that you mentioned that. Let's take a few steps back. Um, let's see the bigger picture. Yeah. How hard is it to stay on top uh, for, for a team like NU? Well, I got the chance to talk to Camille Clarion actually um, mm -hmm. during the weekend. Uh, and then she mentioned that it's difficult when you're on top because everyone is out to get you. Yeah. And the pressure is on you since it's a streak that you don't want to be beaten. And yes. everyone is just really, parang target natin, finally, yeah. you have to end the dynasty of the NU Lady Bulldogs. It's been too long and I think it has to be a certain team, di natin alam which season, pero yun talaga yung nagiging goal for yeah. each and every team in the UAAP. So I think the pressure is always on them, but they still manage to rise above the challenge and just maintain that winning culture within the team. Right, and while you're there at the top, diba? enjoy mo lang 100 yeah. wins, diba? Tuloy -tuloy Celebrate, lang. Yeah, Don't think sure. about getting that next loss. After a long time, now, puntahan natin siyempre first time i-cover yung women's basketball in live yes. television. And in general, siyempre, what is the feeling or what can the female athletes learn from, especially from NU Lady Bulldogs na pinapakita nila on live television na, hey, we can dominate too. Yeah, it, it gives a lot of recognition on the level of basketball for, for, for women. So parang... Uh, there are a lot of up-and-coming players, uh, promising players who finally get a platform for yeah. them to watch Now I can be part of that um, arena someday or I could strive harder para lang mapunta ako sa yeah. situation na yun. Kasi it's televised already so it gives them a lot of opportunities na finally nakikita ko na yung mga idol mm. ko or at least I see something na I can look up to. Right. So, even me and Sila Bea and all of the other players who were part of the right. women's basketball, we're just so happy yes. that these players finally get the chance to ball their yes. hearts yes. out on live television during the weekend. So I'm super happy 